And protesters are promising to be back on the streets in Bahrain today. And just moments ago, we saw armored personnel carriers and tanks moving away from the main square. Bahrain is one of several countries in the region now seeing increased anti-government demonstrations. But those protests turned deadly yesterday. Take a look at this. This is a YouTube video supposedly showing one of the protests in the capital, Manama. Then shots ring out. Amazing video. At least four people were killed. Hospital sources say as many as 50 people injured. While this is dramatic video, we do have to stress that CNN cannot confirm the authenticity of video posted on YouTube, but we have corroborated the images with corresponding news reports. This video does appear to be from the same location where our teams were working earlier on Friday. Here's part of a report from CNN's Arwood Damon, who was on the streets shortly after the shots were fired. Covered in blood, Muhammad says. I told everyone to put their hands up as a sign of peace. Then I saw the military crouch down like this. A man standing next to him was shot in the head, he tells us. Our conversation ends abruptly when the military opens fire once again. Using steel pellets and live ammunition. And we'll have a live report from Arwa coming up in just around 15 minutes. Welcome back. Earlier we showed you dramatic video from Bahrain showing protesters running for cover when shots rang out during anti-government demonstrations. At least four people were killed. Our Arwa Damon was there shortly after the shots were fired. Arwa, earlier we heard your conversation with one man. Was there any type of warning before these shots were fired? What did he tell you? No, Randy, he says that there wasn't, and what we did see in the YouTube video is seems to confirm that as well. You saw the uh, anti-government demonstrators walking towards the military barricade, their hands up, they were chanting peacefully, peacefully, and then the military literally mowed them down, and it did not end there. We saw this happening time and time again. The demonstrators would try to move forward only to be shot at. The military using, it would seem, live ammunition, those pellet bullets, as well as tear gas to try to push the demonstrators back. Later on that same evening, we heard from the government saying that now it was the time for dialogue with all parties, the opposition coming out and saying that they would not talk until the military had left the streets. We can now confirm that the military is not present at Pearl Square. However, there is a very heavy police presence. And we just heard from a member of the Wefaq Party. That is the largest opposition party here saying that they have demonstrations planned for 3 p.m. That is in around half an hour, saying that if those demonstrations go peacefully, then they will be willing to speak with the government. So very tense times ahead here, Randy. And Ara, I have to ask you, because you were there on the street and then, then shots rang out again. What did you do when that happened? Well, Randy, we ran away just as everyone else was doing at that point in time. It was quite an intense barrage of tear gas. Everybody was trying to get away from it as fast as possible. We ran past ambulances with bodies being thrown into uh, the backs of them, people trying to evacuate the wounded as fast as possible. When we got to a safe distance away, we regrouped and eventually came back to file the story. But, you know, we've been going through this, as have the demonstrators, ever since the government decided to crack down. Arwa Damon joining us this morning from Bahrain. Arwa, thank you. President Obama called Bahrain's king and stressed his condemnation of the violence against protesters and called on the government to show restraint. Bahrain is a strategic ally of the United States. It has a major base that's home to the U.S. Fifth Fleet. The Fifth Fleet has more than 30 vessels and 30,000 personnel. The fleet patrols the Persian Gulf, the Arabian Sea, and East Africa. That includes the pirate-infested waters off Somalia.